morning ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for joining me welcome back to another day in my life as a hfgb driver it's saturday the 26th of october saturday and i was up at three o'clock this morning honestly on a saturday did i say it's saturday yet yeah it's saturday crazy i lost my delivery notes I don't know if you could see by the amount of confusion on my face then, but I couldn't find anything that was mine in the back of the wagon. So, I've just phoned up transport, and it turns out they swapped the wagons and not told me, and not told the other guy that set off to do his drops as well. So now I've got to go and meet this guy and swap wagons. So what was going to be a really early day on a Saturday, well, it's not going to be that early now, is it? So, it's going to be a long day, so I'm not going to talk and talk and talk. We've got a lot of driving, we've got a lot of drops, which I like. Good. It's more money. Um, so, we'll crack on. We'll go and swap wagons. Swap? Swap wagons! We'll go and swap wagons, and then I'll get back to you guys when we get back here. See you in a bit. Never thought I'd feel this high The sky has never felt this close And when you kiss me I can't believe that I am yours And you are mine Oh, that's drop number one done. We should have been here before six o'clock this morning. That's why I started at four and it's now 25 past seven. So I'm a bit behind already. And I don't know the, the next place I'm going to. I don't know if I said earlier on, but I'm um, delivering to hotels and whatnot round and near the airport. You know what I'm like with planes? They're obviously just everywhere. So I'm gutted that we swap wagons as well. This was the wagon that I was in yesterday, and it wasn't as good as the one that I've just been in. The other one was, it seemed faster and more comfortable. I don't know why. It's weird how wagons differ even though they're all the same. It's very, very strange. So let's see where we're going.
Hi guys, how's it going? Um, we've just done the big, off, the big hotel with the six foot pallet in the back. We've done that, that was easy enough, I just chucked it all onto cages. Um, that is one piece of advice I will give for anyone that's doing multi dropping on the back of a wagon with um, pallets. When you get to the place that you're delivering, have a look to see if they've got any cages knocking about that you can then bring onto your wagon, load up and take them in. It's a hell of a lot easier than using like a pump truck and trying to run a pallet up a blooming slope like that to the back of the um, to the back of the hotel or wherever it is that you're delivering to. So look for look for cages knocking about. Oh, this weather is just absolutely atrocious. I'm sick of getting wet. Just keep getting wet. Red hot in here and then drenched out there and then red hot in here and then drenched out there. And it's Saturday, it doesn't feel like Saturday. What time is it? 10 o'clock. Just gone 10 o'clock. So we should be finished for 12. Fingers crossed. Famous last words. I finally had my curry last night. Hey, I had uh, a samba, a hot lentil based curry with chicken pakoras, onion bhajis and a garlic naan bread, half chips and half rice. Well, it was so good. The only problem was I had it literally just before I went to bed because I finished work late and had to go to bed early. We got Gracie in bed uh, about half past seven I think, ordered tea and it come about quarter to quarter to nine I think it could so I shoved it shoveled it dead quick scoffed it all didn't leave any of it my plate was like woo um, scoffed it all and then went straight to bed stupidest idea ever I am so bloated today I feel like I'm gonna pop oh what a horrible feeling proper bloated but I'm starving at the same time. I need to have, a, I've just had a 15 minute break. I need to have another half an hour. I'm going into my seventh hour of working at the moment. So I might as well just take another half an hour. That'll reset my driving time and give me up to 12 hours working time, won't it? Won't it? I know you'll tell me if I'm wrong. I've got a question for you. If I'm doing over 12 hours of a shift, do I need to take an extra 15 minute break when I've gone over the 12 hours? So up to 12 hours, just say for argument's sake, I've had 45 minutes with the brakes. I've had obviously my 45 minute driving time break, just say for argument's sake. When I go over 12 hours, do I need to have another 15 minutes? I'm not sure. So um, I did yesterday, because I did over, I did like 13 hours yesterday, I think. I did have just an extra 15 minutes, so I hope, I hope I was right. If I was wrong, then. Something else I've learned today. You can't put er, air, you can't put er in lorry tyres. When I got in the cab this morning, the, the other lorry, it said, low pressure warning on the dash. So obviously when I, when I got in, I turned the ignition on to check all the instrument lights and whatnot. And it come up straight away saying low tyre pressure. So I had a look at it, I'd gone down quite a bit. So I went into transport, I wrote it down as a defect. And I went into transport office and said, what do you want me to do? He said, just pull up and put some air in. Right, all right then. I didn't know, you know. You're probably looking at me now thinking you div. I didn't know. So I went to the Tesco garage and parked up at the side of the airport. Obviously no one was there. It were a, about 10 past 5. I parked up at the side of the air pump and I started pressing up on the PSI thing. It stopped at 80. I thought, well, that's not good because I need 120 in this. So I just thought, well, I'll see how, how, how inflated the tyre is. And if it goes up a little bit more, then at least I've put some in. And it cost me a quid this. So I, I put the, um, the nozzle thing on the tube thing, the inner tube thing, the valve, I put the nozzle on the valve and it said 89 PSI and they started letting her out, <laughs> like no stop, what are you doing, 
and then some guy come walking over to me, proper scared me to death, freaking near. He come over to me, he had a bottle of bells in his pocket. Hiya mate, can I jump in your cab? I'm absolutely freezing. I'm drenched and I'm freezing. Can I jump in cab and sit down with you for five minutes? Well, I can't let you do that mate, sorry. Well, can you get me a taxi then? Uh, yeah, alright, I'll get you a taxi. So I phoned him a taxi. And then taxi driver phoned me up and went, Where are you, mate? I'm outside. I went, I didn't want a taxi. I said, it's for Murphy. I said, he's in petrol station, leathered. <laughs> I went, what, what do you mean? I went, he's, he's, he's drunk. He's smashed in Tesco's petrol station. I said, he has got, um, he has got some money on him because I saw it. I said, but he wants a, he wants a taxi back to Skem, so go in and help him out. Okay, okay, I see him, thank you, thank you, I see him, thank you. Right, all right, no worries, mate. <laughs> Living ten past five in the morning, you've got a guy back of your leather. He you scared me to death. So yeah, <laughs> and then I went into Lim Truck Stop. That was it. That's what we're getting to. I went into Lim Truck Stop to see. Um, to see if I could get some air uh, for this tyre and I couldn't see anywhere at the petrol pumps the HTV petrol pumps I couldn't see anywhere that had this um, that had any air uh. so I went up to um, another truck driver and I said to him excuse me mate, I'm really sorry to bother you I said I need to get some air in this tyre I said can you help me out I said you're not allowed to put air in these tyres mate he said if you want to put her in them, you've got to get um, you've got to get a tire place to come out and do it for you. I went, all right, fair enough. So I got given some bad information off the transport office, but I put it down on my defects anyway. And then that um, when I went to swap the truck, the Polish guy was not impressed at all. Not impressed that he had. Um, he had a warning on his dash. What am I supposed to do with this? I said, sorry mate, I said if I got told to put some air in it, so just leave it and report it when you get back. I said he they know about it, I've wrote it. So he was like, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, I can do about it, mate. Sorry. And I bet now you sat there saying you should have just refused to take the vehicle. Well, I didn't actually think it'd be a problem. I thought literally I could just turn up and put her in it. But obviously you can't. So that's something to learn for the future. If it says low tyre pressure, I suppose it's on you whether you take it out or not. But I have told them. You can't fill wagon tyres up anywhere. Something to note. So anyway, I have mumbled on and rambled and mumbled and mumbled jumbled for long enough now. I am knackered, I'm exhausted. <laughs> but there you go. This is HTV driving. It's awesome. It's awesome. Absolutely love it. Don't you dare tell me that HTV driving is rubbish because it's nice. Brilliant. Brilliant. Anyway. I'll get on with this drop, I'm, well, I'm only five minutes away. I have rambled on for that long, jeez. Yeah, it's only five minutes away, so we'll get this done. Put in some more driving footage. I'll show you how the tail lift works. I mean, it literally takes me two minutes. It's so simple, so simple to use. Um, they are a little bit different, but, oh my God, Gareth, just shut up. <laughs> See you in a bit. Have a look at this car park. How empty would you say it was? And it's a big car park, it goes right over there. Yeah? Why would you? <laughs> Why would you plonk it there? I've just been McDonald's for me um, for me dinner. Or me breakfast. Actually it's breakfast because it's still bleeding breakfast time. So I've just been Mackey's and I parked up here, miles out at way. There weren't a car in sight when I got it wagon. When I got out at wagon. And this guy's gone and plonked it two feet from mid door. Talk about being awkward. Anyway, two drops left. Not so far away from me uh, last one. And then I've got to go to, I'm doing a Starbucks. I'm not supposed to mention company names, but I'm delivering to a Starbucks. 
and you know how much I like my coffee so that will be a medium caramel cappuccino with an extra shot of espresso <laughs> yes all right really really quickly I'm just going to show you how a tail lift works now usually in the cab you'll have a button situated around here or around here that'll say that it's a button that says like the tail lift design on it or whatever this has it in integrated into the dash to push this up you've got to push that up and then push the top them fingernails are minging i know i'll get them cut tonight they're awful you can't start the engine with that on like that i don't know where the key is it won't start so if you ever turn up and you, it's your first day and you're driving a fridge wagon with a tail lift or anything with a tail lift on the back if the engine won't start and you're panicking have a look for the tail lift switch you need to turn it off before it'll work yeah right, get right back so with this particular tail lift it really is as simple as that down up when you're inside you twist that and the controls then will be controllable from the inside I'll let you see that so pull it down a bit usually this little knob here to get that to go down usually you have to lift this up or push it down but in this instance for some reason on this tail if you don't have to you just push it like so it's as simple as that and then these annoying things they go like that and to get it flat you lift it up and pull it out push it lift it up and lie it flat that's that And then when you're inside, the buttons are there, and up, and they're down. Really is as simple as that. Hey guys, well, one delivery left, I'm not going to lie, I'm absolutely knackered. I am shattered, completely done for. Uh, I told Mrs I'd be on for 12 o'clock. I promise you I'll be done for 12, I've only got 8 or 9 drops. It's half past 12 now, and it's going to take me 25 minutes to do 3 miles. It says, the traffic around Warrington is shocking, as per usual. Well, I say as per usual, I think I've been to Warrington 4 times, and all 4 times it's been absolutely gopping. So, it's, well, stopped. Let's get this last delivery done. When I get back to the yard, I have to add blue, add, add blue, add, 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 add blue. I have to add red diesel and I have to add white diesel. And then I've supposedly got to wash it. I did it yesterday. I jet washed it all down and everything. Um, I did add blue, I did red diesel. I did add, add blue. I did add, 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 add blue. And then yeah, we're messing about at yard for about 45 minutes cleaning my wagon. But I ain't doing that today, no way. It's absolutely leathered it down all day. So I don't see the point, to be quite honest. Um, the AdBlue's full, but I've got less than half a tank. Oh, Leeds have just kicked off against Sheffield Wednesday. Come on, Leeds. Yeah, I've, I've, AdBlue's full, and I've, I've just got under half a tank of diesel left. So obviously fill that back fill that up when I get there um, put some red diesel in it I don't know there's no measurement for the red diesel tank so I don't know how much it takes but yeah we'll crack on with this last delivery get it done get it smashed out of the way and then get home get bed
comment, like, and subscribe. See ya.